Yes, you should learn digital electronics. You clicked on this video, that means you have some interest. You should stoke that interest. And I think digital electronics is a great hobby and I really want you to get into it. I've always wanted to design a processor and I've done that now. And it just took me so long to figure out that it was even possible for me to do that. I wasted so many years, oh, the years, the wasted years. It's really unfortunate, but you don't have to. You should get started right now, today, on the, your hobby, the new hobby, digital electronics. Don't be me, start right now, today. Sometimes it's really difficult to figure out what's going on and you have to keep plugging it away, trying different things, trial and error, diagnosing, trying this, see what the effect is. But oh, is the challenge worth it? When you finally get that thing working, oh, it's so cool. I was trying to figure out how to make my processor speak this protocol I squared C and control LEDs. I actually have the project here. Um, and it took me days to piece the protocol together bit by bit in the FPGA. But when I did, and I saw those LEDs light up for the first time and I started putting numbers on those LEDs. Oh man, that felt so good. And that's something that you can enjoy too. And here's the thing, if that's what my channel is about, is helping people get there, helping people understand how to troubleshoot those things. So there's lots of resources, not just in my channel, but all over the internet of how to deal with microcontrollers. There's lots of information. This is really accessible today. So. I think you should get into it. This right here, I have this here. This is the first PCB I ever made. Um, it doesn't work, <laughs> but I framed it because of that. Um, it was a, it's a reminder to me of how just with a little bit of perseverance, you can come so far. I really was nervous about making that PCB. I thought, you know, what if I make a mistake? Well, I did make a mistake. It doesn't work. <laughs> or I can't do this, or I can't figure it out, or I'm gonna waste so much time. I just had a million excuses of why I was afraid to make this PCB. I hit the order button, got them, I soldered the board for the first time. This is actually the first one I soldered. And I got one thread through the circuit and I tr tried it out, I put a voltage on it, and one of the ICs like, got really, 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 really hot, which means there was a short circuit. Turns out in my uh, design, I had mislabeled two pins and I got them backwards. Through one of the ICs, I was connecting the ground to the positive voltage. And so there was a short circuit through one of the gates. But I learned and I figured it out. And now I just made a PCB the other day. I, I was careful to not to, you know make any stupid mistakes. Um, I might still have made a mistake. I, I haven't tried it yet, but I got the, I just, made the board, ordered it without a second thought. And it's like, if I mess up, I'll just try again. I'm so not explaining this well. <laughs> Point being, I framed this. This is the moment where I my failure turned into success later because now I have, not only do I, am I making PCBs more, regu more regularly, I have an entire processor that I have designed. I think you should get into digital electronics. I think you need a frame for whatever your first failure is. This is my final plea to you. Get started today in digital electronics. Please, 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 please. Iterate over time, slowly, adding more and more complexity, and uh, don't give up. You'll get there. Uh, th that's my advice to you. All right. Uh... Yeah, whatever, man. I don't know if that's gonna be good or not, but hey, I did it.